Hey there, Tony Richardson from Explode Creative Caricature Tutorials here with another one. It's been a while, but I thought we'd take it from the digital into the traditional today. Something a bit more interesting. Um, I wanted to show you guys what it kind of takes to be a live caricaturist. Uh, some techniques, some pens I've been using. I've spent a couple of months trying to get a style down that's quick enough to kind of punch out while you've got someone sitting in front of you. So I'll show you the pens I use. Um, and I'll show you a real quick drawing of, uh, we'll do Jerry Seinfeld today, <clears throat> in, uh, in my live caricature style. Now this won't be too much of a step-by-step, -step. this will just be a, an intro overview and if you guys are interested in learning more about live traditional paper drawing, then I'll, I'll go back and I'll just leave a comment and I'll, I'll make some more videos about it. So what you'll need, um, and feel free to substitute some pens with what you have, grab a HB pencil, grab a rubber, Make sure you got a HB, because uh, the other ones, 2B, 4B, 6B, are just too, too thick to be able to rub out easily. So when you're doing your sketch uh, stage, you'll really want to sketch quite lightly. I'll sketch a little heavier now here so you guys can see on the camera. But uh, And you can see that uh, even before I started doing the main caricature, which I'll do on this big A4 piece, piece of paper, I did some sketches of Jerry Seinfeld just so that this wouldn't be a crap caricature because <laughs> celebrity caricatures are a little little trickier than than just public caricatures you wouldn't you know you wouldn't muck around with that in the when you're drawing public but uh, moving along you've got your HB you've got your rubber you've got uh, I've got a Copic this one's a Copic sketch uh, 100 black and it's got two ends it's got a chisel tip which I almost never use only for writing basically and the brush tip which is awesome because it's got a nice tapered off edge. <clears throat> I've also got an art line 210, it's a 0.6 but you know get whatever you, you've got, you, if you've got a 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, anything that's fairly thick and kind of is a bit like a, a step down from the thickness of the Copic or whatever pen you have. And I've got a permanent marker here, this is a Pentel Pen N50 and I got these two fellas at Officeworks. Um, I think you can get these online or at your local art dealer ship thing. This one, Pentel Pen N50. You can really substitute it with any permanent marker you have. The Pentel is quite nice because it lays down a really solid. Oh, sorry. Lays down a really solid uh, black. Like there's not too many apparent sketchy marks so let's get right into it let's uh, let's draw Jerry Seinfeld so let's say he sat down right in front of us I can see that his face is basically like a uniform plank like it's it's like a, a, a tic-tac look at the shape of that it's beautiful so let's just get sketching into this and I'll, I'll give you a few comments as I go along feel free to be as messy as you like in the sketching stage All right, he's got a fairly short nose, but it juts out a bit, so I'll play that up. There's some squinty eyes that, that seem kind of close together. His other eyebrows aren't that big, but they're kind of they're bushy when they come towards the insides of the eyes, so I'll capture that, I guess. Um, there's a little bit of space between his nose and his mouth, so I'll, I'll play that up, I guess. Can you guys see that? Mm. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll sketch a little bit, a little bit harder. <clears throat> and he's got some kind of lines that come up from his chin there. Okay, that looks kind of fairly Jerry. I mean, when you're drawing the public, you can always have your hits and misses. As long as it looks vaguely like them, and it's in your own kind of cartoon style, then you're good to go. Okay, so I should really be running a timer here. What you want with this, with the sketch stage, is you want you want to you want to get your sketches down to below two minutes, because overall you want this whole caricature to to kind of go. If you can get it under ten minutes, that's fantastic. If you can get it to five minutes, then 
you're basically a pro. I'm still trying to get there. I've got mine to about seven to 10 minutes. And don't think that you can't achieve this because you totally, totally can. All you have to do is just draw a lot of faces. And the more, you, the more faces you draw, the less kind of finicky you'll get about it and the quicker you'll be doing your sketches. Now, don't think you're, you're always going to be perfectionist. You're going to be sitting there, like, always trying to get it right before you're going to be inking. Because you will, like, to start off with, it'll be like that. But soon you'll kind of have it down. You'll, you'll have your style down. It takes, takes a little while to get your style to a point where it kind of... It can work for most faces. So once you've got your style down, it, it seems quite quick to to kind of get likenesses and draw people's faces in a nice quick way. And I really just do the face, I don't do too much of the body because I <laughs> I just can't be bothered. Like it's it's cool, you know, if you can draw the body, if you've got that, if you're that good, that quick with it, you can go ahead and draw that tiny, tiny little body that a lot of caricaturists draw. I, I just do the head and the shoulders because I don't know, I, I, I guess I spend a lot of time on the face more than anything. So let's let this timer get up to two minutes and then I'll show you guys <clears throat> what I'm going to do for... I'm going to start off with the Copic. So I use this to outline things. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's take a look at how his hair flows. I use it for the things that would be thick. So his bottom lip would probably be thick. These teeth, maybe. I'll fill in a bit of uh, black there underneath his, uh, his mouth. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll fill in the eyebrows a bit. See, the Copic is really nice. You can also use, like, there's a brand called Mepsy. M-E-P-X-Y. It's a little bit more, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, leaky or something? But I like the Copics because you, uh, you can get different thicknesses of line. It doesn't do the entire job, which is why I've got the Artline 0.6 over there, but, uh... But it's, it's really good for just filling in really quick stuff like that. Okay. Now... <clears throat> my lifestyle has been developed for optimum... Just... Get it done, get out. <laughs> real, real quickness. Quickness, fast ability, whatever the heck words you want to make up for this. I, this lifestyle basically, I mean, it misses out on maybe like 30, 40% of the likeness, pretty much all the time. But as long as it looks enough like the person I'm drawing, they're happy with it. And as long as it's not like too offensive, like you don't make them look like Satan or anything, then they're happy with it. It doesn't matter what kind of style you have, as long as it's, it's stylish, as long as they can see that it kind of, you use it for everyone, then they'll understand that, you know, it's... Oh, okay, that's what I look like in their style. <laughs> Not like, that's what I look like in real life. So you don't have to have it perfect in live drawing. It's not like, uh, celeb caricatures where you know, you want to kind of get it right enough so that people can recognize it. I mean, this this doesn't look amazingly like Jerry Seinfeld. Now, he's got glasses in this picture, but I don't, I don't really... I can't be bothered with drawing glasses. Because I just remember what he looks like from the old Seinfeld sitcom, really. Oh, you know what? He's got like a... Got a bit of a bum chin happening down there. I just draw like a little squiggle. Okay, so... Ah, uh, yes. What else can we do here? 
we've we've hit five minute mark, so I might actually um, I'll show you guys an extra cool little technique. I'm gonna I'm gonna block in some permanent marker, and I'm gonna leave some of the edges so it looks like a bit of bit of lighting. So I've got the Pentel Pen N50 here for this. And you know, feel free to be messy with it. Heck, whatever. I'm gonna block in all this stuff. And <clears throat> sometimes, I mean, some caricaturists have time to do this because they're super fast. Like it takes a couple of years to get that fast. I'm not even that fast. And as I said, you can achieve this. It, it just takes a while to, to get your style down. Once you've got that kind of cookie cutter thing you can do, that same kind of style, you've got your, your eyes, you've maybe got like three types of eyes you can use. Then, you will get quite, quite fast with this. And you don't need these pens, you just need pens that you like to use, really. Now check this out, this is a little bonus thing. This is, uh, what is this, Uni Posca. It's a, it's a white marker, white, uh, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just show you what it does. <laughs> So it basically draws white on top of any dark color, which is, I think is really cool because then you've got some, I can do some like Tim Burton style, <laughs> you know, little details around the edges without going too crazy with it. And you can also taper off the eyebrows a little bit too with these, if you've gone too far with them, which I think I might have. Poor old Jerry here. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, like, I mean, this is a picture that looks cool. It doesn't look amazingly like Jerry Seinfeld. It might, you know, what, what if we put glasses on him with, with that? I mean, uh, would that even help? That would that'll make him look like he looks in the picture. It's, it's not like he, it looks amazing, like you look like it doesn't go, oh wow, it's Jerry Seinfeld. It looks more like Kramer to me. But you would totally get, ab get away with this in, real, in like live situation. As long as it's got their kind of head shape, which I decided was going to be like a Tic Tac. And, you know, you've got their features, like he's got some small squinty eyes that kind of, you know, go in toward his nose. He's got a fair bit of space between the side of his face and his eyes. And uh, obviously if he was wearing glasses in public then I would definitely draw those glasses in. And like that. But I mean, heck. So if he popped in there, and I drew that, that took what, 8.50? 8 minutes 50? Below 10 minutes, that's fine. Um, he would leave kind of happy with that. It's, it's not, all I'm trying to say is, and I'm not making excuses for this being like, eh. <laughs> I'm just saying that you don't need to get all of the likeness for the live caricatures. It's, it's, it's actually impossible to do that. You can't get a perfect likeness in under 10 minutes. It's like, you're just going to be kidding yourself. So, what you want to do is get that style down. The style kind of brings it all together, gives you a couple of templates you can use real quick. And then you can just uh, punch their features into a few of it. So maybe you've got his hair, I've got his hair right, I've got maybe his, uh, I've got his mouth right. I probably didn't get the nose quite right. I think kind of like, you know, it's a bit more like that. Um, maybe his chin's a bit long here, you know, like it could have been better. There's a lot of things here that could have been better, but heck. In the end, the subject would have left 
pretty happy with the drawing. So that's what uh, that's what this is all about with the live. Get yourself, get your sketches below two minutes. It only takes practice. It only takes doing it a few times. Well, maybe a hundred times. And you've got about you've got a hundred. I think someone said you've got a hundred bad sketches, hundred bad drawings before you get to the good ones. So just get into it, and you can get good at this. It only it took me maybe a few months. I I was mostly digital before this, but I didn't you know. When I got into this, this, this traditional stuff, it did take a little while to get a style that I liked in the bag. So thanks for watching, and um, yeah, if you've got any comments, if you want to know any, anything more about, uh, you know, my styles and specific techniques, or other pens you can use, or got some questions about live caricature, yeah, you know, leave a comment, please subscribe. Actually, before I go, I'll show you what I do with the chisel tip of the Copic. I'll draw. I'll probably write their name. Jerry at I don't know where 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 is he? Uh, Miami or something? And then like the date. Yeah, what is with the third, fourth, sixteen, and of course his signature. So I really only use that that's your chisel tip for the writing. It's quite cool for the writing too because you can get all sorts of kind of looks like a, a comic-y font. Yeah. So have fun, practice, and I'll see you next time.